Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my August, but really my birthday mostly, book haul. My birthday was back on August 12th and I'm filming on my birthday, so this is me opening presents on my birthday. And funny story, so you know I've been trying to get my TBR down and my TBR is basically down by the end of this month and when you're watching this video there's a very good chance that the books that were on my TBR are like completely finished. So I was feeling a tad bit sorry for myself a week before my birthday because I just was like I don't really usually care about aging at all, like I, I think it's a privilege to age and I don't have any kind of like bias against aging. However, I was like it's not fair that myself or really anybody has to age during this year. Like how dare time go on in this current state? Like it's just, it's not fair. And I obviously like couldn't do anything for my birthday, not that I was planning on doing like a big blowout party, but I just couldn't do anything to like really celebrate. So I was like, I'm just gonna put my wish list up on Twitter for an hour. An hour, like in the middle of the day one day, I put it up and I was like, that's fine. I thought I'd maybe get like a couple extra books because I was already asking for books from my parents and I was like, I'll get a couple extra books and it'll be like a little bonus and it'll make me feel better and everything else. <laughs> I got uh, 16 packages <laughs> on top of what my parents got me. So I already opened what my parents got me and I'll show you those first and then I'll be opening the packages on screen for you guys to be able to see like if you got me something, my reaction and everything. But yeah, so thank you to everybody who sent me things. Um, I wasn't expecting it at all. Like maybe some of you were like, well that's stupid, of course like people would see it, but like I didn't think people would really engage with that. Like I thought a few people might, especially because I only had it up for an hour and I chose to only have it up for an hour because I was like, I don't want this to be like just sitting up there, like people feeling obligated, anything like that. So yeah, now I have a replenished bookshelf of TBR books. And it's actually really exciting because these are all books that I'm highly anticipating reading because they're all like continuations of series or like things I'm just excited about, whatever. And it's kind of different because over the last like couple of years I've only had a couple times that I've really gotten a ton of books off my wish list because I haven't been asking for a ton of books because I get sent books from like publishers and stuff so that was molding more of what I was reading and this is like more of like my choice, you know? I mean it's always my choice, I could always like get these things but you know it's just a little, it just feels a little different. So let's get started because this is going to be a long video. <laughs> so first I'll show you the books that my parents got me and by my parents really I mean my mom because like my dad provides the money and my mom <laughs> buys it because her love language is gifts. So I should have known that I was going to get more than just a couple from them. She got me seven, five of which have arrived so I don't know what the other two are. <laughs> so the first book is A Veil of Spears by Bradley Baleo. This is the third book in the Song of Shattered Sands series which is an adult fantasy series that's set in the desert and it's basically about a revenge quest that the main character is going on in order to take down the 12 kings who are kings with like magical almost godlike powers in Shirakai where she lives. So she's infiltrating the assassins that are protecting them in order to kill all of them and it's very intense and very cool and I love the magic system and everything. So this month, August, I should have read the second book in the series which I already owned so now I have the third book to continue on with the series. Then I got House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis. This is the first book in her new fantasy. I believe it's gonna be a trilogy but it could be more books. Jessica Cluis wrote the Shadow Bright and Burning, I'm forgetting the name, something on fire, Kingdom on Fire series. And that is one of my favorite young adult series that I've read recently. It was really interesting and it used some tropes differently than I was expecting and just very cool. So when she was coming out with the Dragon series, I'm like, I need it. Then we have Ancillary Sword by Anne Leckie. This is the second book in the Ancillary Justice. I don't actually... It doesn't say if the series has a different name, but this is a adult science fiction series. It came out years ago and it's very well loved. I read the first book and really adored it, so I wanted to get the second one before I forget a lot of things about the first one. <laughs> then we have A Song of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. And this features two main characters who are trying to destroy each other. The female character is trying to raise her mother from the dead, and the male main character is trying to actually kill the female main character in a bargain that he made with like a dark spirit that stole his sister. So this sounds really interesting. This was like number one bestseller when it first came out like about a month ago. So I've been very intrigued by this. A lot of people have been recommending this to me and I'm very excited because you guys know how I feel about necromancy. Love to see it. Then the last book kind of ties into a book another friend got me so I'll talk about those. So my good friend Kayla of Book of Doodles got me The Vanishing Throne by Elizabeth May which is the second book in the Falconer series. The Falconer series is kind of like a fae Buffy the Vampire Slayer set in Scotland Scotland, like uh, historical Scotland. Very fun. Really enjoy it. Sarah Jane's read the whole series and loved it. So Kayla got me the second book and then my parents got me the third book so I can finish the whole trilogy. Very excited. I'm probably gonna reread the first book just to get like re-immersed and the first book's fairly short. I mean these aren't like super long but they, this one's a little bit denser so excited to get to these because I just hear it's it's angsty and great and fey and 
good times. Then Kayla also got me Cibola Burn by James S.A. Corey, and this is the fourth book in the Expanse series. So I recently read the third book, continuing on in the Expanse series. The Expanse series is an adult science fiction series, space opera, very good, very fun, one of my favorite science fiction series currently ongoing, and I love it. So I'm trying to catch up with that series. At least read two books, if not three, from this series this year to catch up. So there's like, I think, eight or nine books in the series. So I want to catch up a little more than I am right now. Then we have a package that I already opened because it came a few days ago and I was like, I just want to open it. Um, so I opened one early. And that is The Wicked and the Divine Volume 6, Imperial Phase 2. And this is one of my favorite graphic novel series. I've talked about it a lot, but I want to reread the other volumes that I read like years ago and then continue on with the series. This is about like the entire, like multiple pantheons of different gods from different religions basically get reincarnated into young people and they live for, I think it's three years. And then they die, but while they're alive, they're, they're like magic is from fame and stuff. So they're almost like celebrities. But th some of my favorite characters are in this. So good. So interesting. There's so many different pantheons. And the Chthonic gods, the death gods are obviously my fave. So love them. And I want to see how they're doing because I think I've read up to volume four. So I know I need to continue on from there. And that was from Leah Redmond. So thank you, Leah. Okay, so now we're getting into packages I haven't opened. I do have a box cutter. Um, there are a couple Amazon packages that are just like the easy to open one, so I think I'll start with those. Ooh. And this just has the two little like gift receipts, but it doesn't say, ooh, ooh, there it is. And this is from Leslie. I read the series earlier this year and I loved it. I hope you love it too. Happy birthday. And this is Malice by John Gwynn. This has been on my wish list for like two years, but like I said before, I haven't really been asking for books very often. So this has just been kind of like chilling out on my wish list, but this is the first book in an adult fantasy grimdark series. And I've heard really, really good things about this. They're chunks, they're chunky. So I'll probably be reading them during a tome topple, but I'm very excited about this because I've heard, like this is a podcast popular enough series, but I haven't heard a ton of people like on booktube talk about it, just some of the booktube SFF people. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited about all these books because like I mentioned, these were all like very high on my wish list. So yeah, but I, I just don't know which ones I'm getting. I have no idea. This feels kind of like Christmas. Or Yule. Uh -huh. Ooh. And this is from Allie of Diagon Alley. I hope you enjoy. I adore the story and Dara might be the love of my life. Don't tell my husband. Happy birthday. And this is The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. This is the first book in the Devabod trilogy. So this is an adult desert based set in Cairo, I think. Streets of 18th century Cairo adult fantasy. And the I think all three books are out now and people have been loving this series. So I'm very excited to start this one. This is one that people ask me about a lot. They're like, are you going to read this? And I'm like, yes, but I just don't own it. So now I own it. It's been so long since I've had this many books. Oh my god. One more easy open package. These are all chunky books. I asked for so many chunky books. And this is from CB113. And this is volume two of the Ryrie Revelations, which is Rise of Empire. This is by Michael J. Sullivan. I recently read the first book in the series, which was Theft of Swords. This is an adult fantasy series that follows two thieves, Royce and Hadrian, and they're like the most famous thieves in this area. And the first book, they get a job that sounds too good to be true, and it is, and everything kind of goes from there. But I love these characters. I love all the side characters. One of my favorite wizard characters is in here. It's a very traditional fantasy, so there's like dwarves, elves, things like that, those kind of magical creatures, and it's just like so nostalgically fun, even though I've never read it before. It's just like, it just feels so nostalgic to me, so I really love this. Very excited to see how these boys do in the future. Okay, boxes. I'm going to have so many boxes to recycle when I'm done with this. Oh, this person paid for wrapping! That's nice. And this is from Brandy. Purple Butterfly Reads. Happy birthday. Thanks for your amazing videos. These are Slytherin colors. I don't know if you could actually pick the colors, but if you could, like, <laughs> great job. I kind of want to keep this bag. This is like a very big bag, so I don't know what I'd actually do with it. Oh, yay! And then this is Ancillary Mercy, which is the third book in the, like, Ancillary Justice... I think there has to be a name for this series, but they never put it on here. Um, oh, Imperial Rocked. Imperial Rocked Trilogy. So this is the third book. So now, see, I, I wanted to get a lot of these books in series so that I could finish up a lot of these series and just like binge read them and be the person I used to be because I used to binge read series. So I have the potential to do that now with a couple series so far. It's very exciting. Hello. Sheer amount of boxes. I love it, but I'm just like, I'm so overwhelmed. Someone else wrapped things. <laughs> That's nice. This is from Chad. Had to get you a present. We both share the same birthday. Well, happy birthday, Chad. And again, thanks for all your talks on mental health. You helped me through a bad anxiety patch. Oh, I'm so glad. Bad anxiety patches are the worst. If my talking about anxiety helps other people, like that's the goal and pretty much why I talk about it. Hee! <laughs> this is the fifth book in the Expanse series, Nemesis Games by James S.A. Corey. So like I said, adult science fiction series, really exciting. So yeah, if I could read these two books before the end of the year, then I'd be like, 
close to being caught up. Like I said, I think there are eight, maybe nine books out in the series, but it'd be good to get through five of them this year. Oh, these movie covers are so pretty. This one might be my favorite. I really like the look of that one. So exciting. Ooh, this one's heavy. I'm gonna make a prediction, because this book was on my list and this feels like very heavy, that this is gonna be Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Because this feels chonky. I could be wrong. I know I've asked for other chonky books, or this could be more than one book, but I will not be surprised. This is Priory of the Orange Tree. I was right. <laughs> and this is from Alexis. Happy birthday, Sam. I haven't read this yet. Reading for Tome Topple, but sapphic dragon riders seem like a good birthday present to give. Absolutely. Oh, this is so big. I've never like seen this in person. Oh my God. It is huge. This is a Tome Topple. How many pages does this have? Oh my God, what a beast. 830. Oh, you could really take someone out with this. So as I said in the note, this is a standalone adult fantasy, but it is sapphic dragon riders. Yes. I mean, I haven't even fully read the synopsis in so long, but I just am like, I want to read this and I'm just going to go into it like pretty blind. <gasps> Look at how massive, like it's, it's almost hard to hold in my hand and my, I have long fingers. Like <sighs> she, she is big. She is juicy. I love her. Oh my God. Like, this is one of those books that I also been asked about so many times if I've read it and I haven't let myself buy it either because I'm like that is a chunk get the other books off your shelf so mm, this is gonna be another tome topple so many of these books are gonna be tome topple books but also not tome topple books because I'll be reading a lot of them like outside of tome topple beast you are truly beautiful oh you guys all look great <laughs> Yeah, this is from my friend Sam and this is the shadows between us by Trisha Levenseller, which I've heard about I know that Sam really liked this so I'm wondering because this was one that I believe wasn't on my wish list like I think she was adding something anyway she told me that it was something like not on the wish list so okay so this sounds like a it's young adult enemies to lovers like she's trying to woo the shadow king marry him and then kill him to take his kingdom for herself so yeah I've seen this on like Slytherin book lists and stuff so I'm very I'm very excited about this because yeah, I've been hearing some really good things about this. So thank you, Sam. I'm gonna be texting her like right after this. Ooh, this is pretty. This is also from Leah Redman who sent something earlier, but they sent it in two different packages, Amazon did. So this is also from Leah. Ooh, and this is How You Lose the Time War by Matt Gladstone. This is like a shorter, I don't know if it's quite a novella, but it's a shorter book. And this is two people on opposite sides of like a war or I mean, they're more like th spies and they start corresponding and apparently like fall in love and is gay. So I am very excited about this. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. And it's a shorter one, so I can read that a little bit easier than some of these chunks. Oh, there's two authors. I only saw Max appear. Mal El Motar. Hopefully I got that right. I don't have my phone on me, otherwise I would check. This is from Jensen, and this is Seven Surrenders by Ada Palmer. This is the second book in the, man, what are they? The Terra Ignata series, which is an adult science fiction series. The first book is She Like the Lightning, which I read the beginning, I think of last year. And it's so weird, like it's so hard to describe. I've talked about it recently before. It's a very weird book, but super interesting, unlike anything I've ever read. So I think there's gonna be five books, I wanna say in this series, maybe six. So this is the second book, so I can start to make my way through these as well. Three more. And this one might be from Sarah Jane because there's no tag on it and she said that she couldn't add a like gift tag for some reason because of Amazon messing up. So this is The Damned by Renee Adier. This is the second book in the Beautiful series that is the young adult paranormal series. There's like vampires and other things set in a historical New Orleans. So I recently read the first book, The Beautiful, and really ended up liking it and continue on with this fairly soon and not like forget everything that happened, which would be great. Ooh. And this is also from Sarah Jane because there is no tag on it. But this is Seven Devils by Laura Lamb and Elizabeth May. Elizabeth May is from the Falconer trilogy, the books that I got earlier. But this is a new science fiction series, all female led space opera, and people are saying it reminds them of Mass Effect. And she did say this, so this is the one that she was kind of talking about, I bet. She did say that I would probably know which ones were from her because of what we talked about. And I know that she's excited to read this, and I'm excited to read this, and we're both excited to read this. And look at this cover. <laughs> Doesn't this feel like Mass Effect? So I am super, super excited about this wonderful, juicy space book. All these sci-fi books are actually really good timing too because I plan on participating in Space Opera September and basically all these that I've gotten are space operas. So perfect timing. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
Oh, there's a couple in here. <laughs> so this is from Bethany, and she said, okay, I know at least one should have been a series continuation, but I need to have someone to talk to about both of these. I hope you enjoy them and have a great birthday. And the first one is The Midnight Lie by Marie Rutkowski. This is the first book in a new young adult fantasy series, but it's taking place in the same world as her Winner's Trilogy, and this is Sophic. So I forgive you, Bethany, because I really want to read this. And I was putting off some of these books that I wanted to read that were like standalones or new series, buying them myself because I was like, I need to finish other series. But like, I've gotten plenty of other series continuations. So don't feel bad because I don't feel bad because I've heard good things about this. And it hurts me that it's taking me like this long to get to read this. So thank you. Ooh. And then she also sent me Die Volume 1. This is the first book in a graphic novel series. It's adult fantasy. But basically, from what I remember hearing about this when I first heard about it, like I feel like it was almost a year ago. This is basically like a D&D &D game, like a role play game that they get like sucked into and it's like a darker world, like really brutal. So I'm very excited about this because I love role play games and like D&D &D and that kind of stuff and I've heard really good things about this. And one of the illustrators on here, Gillen, is one of my favorites. So very excited about this, like oh, yes. This is one of the same people that worked on The Wicked and the Divine. So between the synopsis and the art, I was like, I'm here for it. Okay, so those are the birthday books. I'm going to stop now. I will probably add on to this because I will be getting also this month's Owl Crate box and possibly the couple books that my parents still got me that are like coming in the mail. So I may or may not add on to this. <laughs> this is the second part of the book haul because as predicted, I did get more books. <laughs> And I have my owl crate box as well. So my friend Sam from Will Read for Booze, who I mentioned earlier, did also send me Heir of Novron, which is the third volume of the Ryaria Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. I talked about this series already, but this is the third volume, so now I have all three books in this series that I could potentially finish out. Then my mom ordered me more books, so I think I have a grand total of like eight or nine books from her. If I would have known that she was getting me that many books, I would have never even posted my own wish list because that would have been a sufficient amount. But I thought she was going to get me like two. So I guess she was in the gift giving mood. So she got me Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. These are the UK editions, which I like to read his books in the UK editions, especially Stormlight because it breaks it into two. Even though I read this as one giant book, it's nice to not have to read a book this chunky. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive series and my ambitious brain would love to catch up before the fourth book comes out. Uh, don't think that's gonna at all happen. It'll be a stretch if I even get this book read before the end of the year. Keeping with the Brandon Sanderson theme because I believe my mom has got me almost all of the Brandon Sanderson UK editions. She got me Shadows of Self, which is the second book in the second era of the Mistborn trilogy. There are four books either out or going to be out within this series, so I do want to catch up. I think at least three of them are already out, if not four. It's hard to keep up on how many Brandon Sanderson books there are. And this is basically the Mistborn world hundreds of years after the first era, and it's more like a Wild West setting, which is fun. Plus these are shorter than his other books, which is a joy. Then Nicholas sent me Night's Shadow by Sebastian Day Castell. This is the second book in the Great Coat series. I read the first book, I believe it's like at least two years ago, and really enjoyed it. It's basically like a Three Musketeers sort of vibe with more magic and stuff in it. But very few people talk about this, but the people that have, I definitely really trust. So I would like to read more of this, and this is the second book. And they also sent me the Blu-ray of Emma, the 2020 uh, Emma that came out, which is one of my favorite movies. When I watched it on, like, at home on demand, I watched it two days in a row. It gives me the same kinds of feels as the 2005 Pride and Prejudice, but with, like, more laughter as well, because it's very funny and kind of cheeky, I'd say. So love this. Glad to have this as, like, a repeat watch movie. And this was the only movie that was on my wish list. But I felt like it worked with the books because it's based on a novel. So those are officially all of my birthday presents. Again, <laughs> thank you guys so much for getting me gifts if you did. Was not expecting that and I have so many books that I'm so excited about on my shelves now. I'm gonna have a very hard time prioritizing. So in addition to those books, I was a bit of a dum-dum and forgot to put this month's book club, House Salt Book Club pick, on my wish list because I probably could have gotten that instead of one of the other books, which I'm still fine to have all the other books, but I'm like, you needed that book, why didn't you put it on your wish list? Oops. So I did purchase for myself Set Fire to the Gods by Sarah Rosh and Kristen Simons. But this is gladiators and mythology and like warring gods and stuff, so very intrigued about this and hope I like it. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. I feel like Sarah Rosh gets forgotten a lot in the book world, so looking forward to this. Always love some gladiators. Whew, then last but not least, we have this month's Owl Crate box. As you guys know, if you've lasted this long, because you're probably familiar with my content, I am an Owl Crate affiliate, so every month they send me a box to unbox. I do have affiliate code, which is linked down below. I don't get any money from that or kickback from that. That's just for you guys to get a percent off your purchase. I distinctly remember this month's theme being like very intriguing to me. Ooh, yes, written in the stars is this month's theme. So I want some nice astrology astronomy themed things in here fingers crossed 
You know how I feel about the stars and the moon. So these are some little Owl Crate exclusive. We are made of star stuff. Metallic push pins. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Cute. So it's just in like a little star jar, but like, <laughs> yes. I mean, if I could just have decorations like that everywhere, I would be very happy. And this can go with my moon stuff because they had it earlier in the year, like moon themed box. Bless. Ooh, and there's this, it looks like a, Yep, Dreamer Bandana Scarf. This is from Fern and Ink Company. I'm not seeing what the actual quote is and I don't want to unravel it, but this is like a headscarf that you can use. Um, so I'm going to do that and be cute when I have the time, but it's a beautiful color. Maybe the this will say what it actually says. This is a Strange the Dreamer inspired bandana. So it has a Strange the Dreamer quote on it, but I just don't want to unwrap it right this second. Eh, think about the dreams. Choosing the dreamer probably is the quote that's on here, but I just want to leave it nice like this. I love the color though. Ooh. Then we have this clipboard and it has you shine brighter than any constellation in the sky. Witchy. That looks witchy. Ooh, and then we have this little star pen going directly into my pen mug. Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> This is a book sleeve, and it says we are all stardust and stories, and that is from The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Look at how gorgeous this is! I just want to eat it! Oh, I love this. This is my entire aesthetic. Oh my god! I'm very excited about that. That is from Quirky Cup Collective. And this is a book that I've been seeing everywhere. This is Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't check the pronunciation right this second. But this is stunning. Like the original cover is stunning, but this is also extra stunning. Love these sprayed edges. And this is a contemporary fantasy with Hindu mythology in it. So our main character has some connection to the stars and constellations and stuff. Her mother got like called back to the stars is what the synopsis says. And stars like talk to her and she has like star power and basically the constellations and her like celestial ancestors are sending her on like a quest. Maybe they're like human, you know, on the ground kind of thing. So that sounds completely up my alley. I had not heard about the synopsis before this. So this is stunning and like I said, right up my alley and beautiful and oh my god. And this is this month's enamel pin. So the lotus is very much a part of Hindu mythology and folklore and stuff. So this is like a lotus with the moon in it. And every month there is a letter from the author and the book is signed. And then the newsletter does talk about what the original cover looks like versus the Owl Cray exclusive cover and like interviews with people involved with the box and everything. And then lastly, oh right, next month will be the like Halloween box so that we can get stuff early. So September's box is A Glorious Haunting, which sounds kind of like a glorious morning makes me sick which is Hocus Pocus. So I hope there's some Hocus Pocus stuff in here. Every September box will include a cozy throw blanket designed by Michelle Gray. So they had done a um, Raven Voice, I believe, throw in the past. So yeah, look at this, look at this. I don't really tend to love spoop. I don't know what kind of spooky stuff is coming out next month. You guys know I don't really like horror, but hopefully it'll be like forest spoop. It says haunting, so I'm thinking like, I don't know if I'll be able to handle it, but we'll see. So that is it for my book haul, birthday book haul for this month. Again, thank you so much to everybody who sent something to me. I was not expecting this many books. I was not expecting this many people to send me things for my birthday, but it definitely, it does make me feel better because today I, I kind of was like, oh, it's just like a normal day, but like I opened up a ton of books today, so that's not a normal day. So I feel, I feel good. So thank you for making my quarantine birthday suck like, a little bit less. <laughs> so comment down below, let me know which ones you really hope I prioritize like the most. And if you see other people comment, like upvote those comments so I kind of know which ones you guys like really want to hear about soon. Like there's so many good books on here that like even I can't prioritize them. Like I am like a kid in a candy shop. I'm so excited. So these are going to be added to like my Patreon book polls every month for them to choose books. It's just gonna be like it's a very exciting time. So at least the rest of 2020 will be like really good reading year hopefully because basically all these books I feel are going to be four stars and above. Let's hope. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>